Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate everybody stopping by. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Uh, the Ring of Fire along the west coast of the United States and Alaska has had three significant earthquakes within the last Oh, two hours, maybe a little bit longer after I post this video. The most recent earthquake was along the Aleutian Islands, a magnitude 6.4 earthquake that was very deep, 187 kilometers below sea level, which is 116 miles below sea level. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. 4.35 a.m. Central Daylight Time, and we'll go over here to where this earthquake occurred, right there, on the um, backside of where the subduction goes on here, and we got uh, two different volcanoes, 4.35 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The next earthquake was at 8.55, almost 9 p.m., Pacific Standard Time, a magnitude 4.9 earthquake. 16 people said they felt that earthquake. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. Um, the one report that shows up on Did You Feel It website for USGS, um, they have an intensity level 2 here, but USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. So let's go to that location. right there the 4.9 okay let me bring it out this is part of the Cascadia subduction zone well it's now up to 16 people that said they felt this 4.9 intensity level 5 means it was felt by most people indoors there would have been some breakage of dishes windows and plaster tall objects maybe uh, pictures things like that would have fallen over the next earthquake is a magnitude 4.8 that was 19 kilometers east of Petrolia, California. That would have been at 4.20 a.m. today. Surprisingly, they only gave it an intensity level of 4, even though it was felt over a very wide area. Let's see, let me bring this out all the way north to, let's see here. Um, I don't have an area. Crescent City. Yeah, I've covered that area. And then as far south, um, close to Yakaya. Yeah, okay. Let me bring it in. Intensity level 4 for Hydesville. Uh, Myers Flat. Intensity level 4. Um... More from Myers Flat. Let's see. Okay, over here. Oh, we don't have a name there. Oh, we got the Eel River, though. Intensity level 4 means it was felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, they would have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. And automobiles rocked noticeably. So let's go to that location. Yeah, inland a little bit. Yeah, there probably would have been rock slides. This is the area. Let me bring it up. Of the Mendocino Triple Junction. Yeah, definitely would have been some rock slides. Yeah, I'm surprised they only gave it an intensity level 4, but that is because of the reports that were sent in to them. That would have been about 19.2 miles in depth. The next earthquake, which was more recent, was off the coast of Eureka, a magnitude 4.1, 13.5 miles below sea level. 225 people said they felt that earthquake. That would have been at 3.31 a.m. local time, and I'll show you the location of that one. There's a 4.1. Yeah, we definitely got plate movement going on. Um, uh, more probably to come. 
tension has built. I've talked about this area in the past, how it's locked. Um, yeah, the North American plate is supposed to be moving towards the west, the Pacific plate, um, moving east. Yeah, and you got a 20% chance of um, any of these earthquakes being a foreshock for something much larger. Yep, the ring of fire is definitely active today. Here we have uh, NOAA, the National Boy Center for Tsunamis. Yeah, there is no tsunami alert currently for any of these earthquakes along the Aleutian Islands or the uh, west coast of uh, California, Oregon, or Washington. It is very unusual to have three earthquakes along the Ring of Fire for the west coast. I would consider the Aleutian Islands up over here um, because this is part of the North American plate. Yeah. But it is unusual to have three earthquakes within such a short period of time. So did you feel any of these earthquakes? Please put your information down below. What did it feel like? What was the ground motion like? Um, was it up and down, wavy, or was it oscillation? Very well could have been oscillation here. Yeah, twisting motion. And how did your pets react before that earthquake and after those two earthquakes? This area has really been active in the last month and is capable of having very large earthquakes. I've talked about this before in probably two or three recent videos. You can see here we got a 7.1, a 6.5. Um, down over here, let's see. Yeah, another 6.5. Um, a 7.2 and that one that was inland and yet it caused a tsunami as they say you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink can't force yourselves force you guys to get ready for a large earthquake and with recent events you have a really good examples of how it is uh, a lengthy period of time before anyone comes to your rescue so think of your family, think of your children, think of your grandchildren. Um, please stay safe. Please like, share, and please subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you.